So let's start these videos off slow and steady. This is a story of how we got ready for 2024. And to begin, I decided to clean off my cork board and actually make areas to help sort of map out and plan, brainstorm um, the kind of things that I wanted to see for what was supposed to be last year's charity events, but now they're going to be this year's charity events with proper planning. And so that's the goal. So this time I'm going to, I'm going to actually map out like how long I think that the event should go for, um, what should the events be filled with? So like, is it going to be a reading hour? Is it going to be video games? Is it going to be like a game show or something? And then hopefully with that type of planning, it'll be a lot easier to um, show others and see if they're willing to, you know, volunteer some time and jump on board. Which then brings us to Christmas or um, a couple days after Christmas, actually. Because one of the things that I asked for was, um, oddly enough, a toothbrush for New Year after New Year after New Year. I always think in my head, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna start clean as clean can be, and the way you start that is with a shower and a toothbrush to to brush your teeth. Because that's actually one thing I think um, a lot of humans don't talk about, but it's a very common phenomenon that occurs where you just kind of have your toothbrush and you just use it and you kind of forget that you're supposed to like swap it out every like what is it three months or something anyways um and then i managed to sort of clean up and reorganize my systems tray in blender or er, in obs so that I can once again have control over my recordings. So now I have one master recording that just has every element sort of smashed into each other. I have one recording that is just my camera, and I have another recording that is whatever the subject is, without me or my audio. Just whatever's happening on my desktop. And so hopefully that will be good to kind of facilitate um, streaming and then the YouTube videos that follow that stream. So I guess we'll find out, but the most important part is that, um, you know, it's... New Year's is a, is a tough thing to kind of get people, you know, I'm gonna make a resolution, I'm gonna follow through with it. Um, I'm trying to give myself every opportunity so that it doesn't fall through. <laughs> You know, so I'm trying to prepare by just kind of setting things up so that all I have to do is fill it out, <clears throat> like the cork board, for example. Um, and then, you know, and then with all this preparation, you know, I, I kind of am building up my own sort of expectation of how things can go. Like if it has more of kind of a negative leaning where it's like, ooh, that might be like one item, one event too many. You know, I might need to, I need to scale that back or, wow, this really seems like super doable and maybe we could take on a little more. I don't know. But, um, the best part about all of this up until today was just the potential that it's creating. And that gets me super excited, you know, just the potential of, of being prepared enough so that nothing nothing really has, I don't really have to like cut back on anything or I don't have to change anything, you know, set back um, scheduling and all that other stuff. Like even these videos, for example, you know, um, there might come a time where I'm gonna be like, oh God, why did I decide to do this daily? Like I should have stuck to more of like a weekly upload schedule. And that may still happen, but I'm I'm trying to prepare myself to the best of my ability to give me every chance, every opportunity so that that situation doesn't even, isn't even a, an opportunity, isn't even a potential, doesn't have any potential. 
but never say never so um, I guess that's pretty much it so in the next couple days I'm gonna be experimenting with streaming because now I have a graphics card that's not just three or four years out of date it's now like five and I'm worried about the workload that it can handle but yeah so in the coming days we're gonna test out streaming um, I gotta sit down and learn Substance Painter, like the actual tools in it. Like right now I kinda know how to do like the really basic stuff, like haha I can click and drag a thing. So we're gonna get a lot more familiar with that. That might happen tomorrow, actually. And then we'll see where we'll see where it goes. Um so yeah.